Good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. US Clarity there actually dropped 100 points um, during yesterday's session only to end up above potential support at 17.075. Um, relatively uh, positive territory this morning, just ever so slightly edging higher there, um, though the potential resistance still remains at 17.151. Uh, and we do have some very important uh, data due out today. Um, you do, of course, have the uh, Eurozone unemployment data, but also the consumer price index um, flash estimate for the CPI, uh, and that's due at 10 a.m. UK time, and that's pretty much going to be the uh, the kind of the goal light for for Draghi if that comes in particularly badly. So the forecast is 0.3. Um, if it comes in as you know 0.1 or or slightly negative, then you know euro dollar should be very interesting to have a have a look at. So looking at the UK 100, that resistance there at 68.32 is still in play. Uh, next potential support is at 6.774. Um, and we've actually had a little bit of a struggle to get into positive territory this morning, so that level is still firmly in play. So, looking at the Japan 225 next, it's actually trading below potential support at 15488. Next potential support is at 14977, and we are bouncing around that 21 period and 55 period SMA. Looking at dollar yen, um, dollar yen managed to bounce uh, from yesterday's lows, but we're still just flitting in between that potential support at 103 spot 77. As ever, that longer term potential resistance is 104 spot 67, uh, but we need some pretty uh, good dollar positive news to get that going again. So looking at crude oil West Texas, it did in fact bounce beautifully off that 95 uh, spot 40 uh, level. We did speak about consolidation over those last couple of sessions. Next potential resistance is at 97 spot 64. So we are in the middle of two ranges right now, so there's still a little bit more to go. Um, but this is certainly the best uh, closing point we've seen on West Texas for some time. Um, moving on to gold, because of the unrest in Ukraine, I say unrest, but really it's a, it's a true civil war with, uh, with Russia getting involved now as well, um, with a battle on two fronts. So uh, safe haven assets, so normally it'd be the yen as well. Uh, but certainly gold's getting its, its day. As you can see there, it stopped bang on that potential support, uh, sorry, resistance at 1295, only to retreat back down again. Now it's in positive territory right now, which means a potential retest of 1295 heading into the weekend it, you know, it's not, it's not um, kind of beyond the expectations out there. So moving on to uh, euro dollar, obviously lots of focus on this today. Very volatile session yesterday. We're moving lower again this morning, uh, looking at one spot thirty one zero seven as the next potential support. And this is what everybody would be looking at around about ten a.m. UK time. Finishing up the GBP USD, um, I had a, a kind of a, a move to the upside yesterday, bouncing off potential support one spot sixty five fifty eight. Um, but these long legged candles are indicative of the fact there's still lots of selling pressure up there, so I think this level is still going to be relatively strategic in the short term. So, I come up data wise, as I said, you've got CPI. This is going to be a major uh, announcement there today, and this is going to dictate monetary policy in the Eurozone. And uh, obviously, you have unemployment as well. Uh, and if we fast forward, you do also have uh, PMI in the US, and you've also got the uh, University of Michigan Consumer Sentiment Survey data due at 3 o'clock UK time. So a fair amount of data, um, some just first thing this morning uh, in, in the UK, and um, then the rest later on uh, this afternoon. Keep your eye on the chart form as ever, make insights part of your layout going forward, and join me again on Monday to find out what happened next.